Okay. Hey, Frank. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Great. So, um, when you were told the Megatron character would not continue after Transformers the movie, at that time were you also aware that you would actually be voicing the new leader, Galvatron, after the movie? Uh, not really immediately. Uh, first of all, both Peter and I were a little shocked that we were sort of <laughs> and, uh, so after recovering from that, we, we still had sessions to do from the show. Right. And uh, when Galvatron was introduced to the show, uh, Wally Burr said, Frank, we'd like you to uh, try and get, you know, close to Leonard Nimoy, you know, yeah. do a little something if you want, but try and kind of capture what he was doing in the feature. So um, I did and, you know, uh, they went with what what I had, and uh, we kind of played with it a little bit, but mostly I was trying to do uh, Leonard Nimoy. But I didn't know, you know, at the end of the picture, you know, it happened once we went back to working on G1 stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then um, I guess, well, you've answered part of that. How was the transition for you from voicing Megatron to the Galvatron? The answered two questions, and I thought it was one! <laughs> No, 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 you got to give half of that question at least. Okay. Uh, second question. So how was the transition for you from going from Megatron to going to Galvatron, especially considering Galvatron was insane in season three in the yeah. show? How was that transition for you? Well, uh, actually, uh, yeah, because now, like in the features, Galvatron is like really out there. And, um, and Megatron from the G1 uh, was pretty much out there, as you were saying, in those, yeah. in those segments. But um, Galvatron was more of a uh, kind of an easier voice to do in the sense that there wasn't a lot of power to it, you know? And um, so the transition really, not that big a deal, you know, honestly. I mean, like right now, the transitions are fun. For example, it's a fun challenge. I do, I come to a convention and people really want to hear G1. So I do Megatron. I am Megatron, leader of the Decepticons. All hail Megatron! Transitioning into Transformers Prime, we wanted to change, and then the, the characters are now uh, computer generated, so there's a lot of difference and a lot of subtleties in the mouse. So then we started getting into this guy Megatron into this Megatron. I am Megatron, still leader of the Decepticon. Transform into Galvatron. I am Galvatron, and I am also leader of the Decepticons. I'm just showing off. By the way, thank you so much for your season three Galvatron voice. Uh, that really sold me. I didn't like Galvatron at the beginning because he wasn't Megatron, like a lot of people missing Megatron. I don't like his replacement for Galvatron, but he brought so much life and so much, it, it wasn't just one thing, he was a bad guy, but it, it brought so much intrigue and interest in the character. Eventually he became my favorite character and I just want to say thank you so much for that. Cool. Thank you.